Hello grade 9 math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have number three of this unit. We're going to solve one step inequalities, but we are going to use multiplication and division this time. Uh, one rule, one important rule, is that when we are multiplying or dividing a negative value, we are going to flip the sign or the direction of the inequality. Let's get into it and do some examples. That's the best way to learn. All right, the first one is minus 7 is greater than m divided by 6. We want to get m all by itself. We're solving for the variable. So we're going to take the 6 from the bottom on this side and move it up to the top on the other side. It's going to be multiplied then. So 6 times minus 7 is minus 42, and that's greater than m. Since we multiplied by a positive number, we don't flip this sign. This sign stays the same. Everything is good with it. Uh, in the next problem, though, you're going to see what I mean when I say we flip the direction of the inequality. Okay, this one we have minus 8x is less than minus 16. We are trying to get x all by itself, so we're going to, to move this minus 8 across and to the bottom. It's multiplied here, so it's going to be divided on the other side. So then x is left alone on this side, but we're dividing by a negative number. So we're going to flip this, the direction of the inequality. And then minus 16 divided by minus 8 is 2. And there we have it. That is our answer. Uh, we have x on the left-hand side. Uh, we flipped the inequality, got the answer as 2. I guess what I should have done for this one is I should have written it as m on this side. So m is actually less than minus 42. I keep the small side pointing towards m. But um, when we multiply or divide by a negative number, we flip the direction of the inequality. Let's do a few more. We have 14 is less than x divided by 15. We're going to move the 15 up. So that's 14 times 15. I know 15 times 15 is 225, so 14 times 15 has to be 210. So 210 is less than x. Uh, actually, I should flip that around. x is greater than or equal, sorry, greater than 210. Don't let my, me forget because I'm not allowing you to forget either. Our next one is 20b is less than or equal to 400. We divide that side by 20 because it's on the top over here. It goes on the bottom over here. So b is less than or equal to 400 divided by 20 is 20. Variables on that side. We didn't divide by a negative, so we're OK. Let's do two more. We have minus 117 is greater than or equal to minus 13x. We're going to divide by minus 13. So we have 100 and minus 117 divided by minus 13 uh, is we're going to flip the sign, right? Because we're dividing by a negative. So it's less than or equal to x. All right, let's see. Uh, 13 goes into 117, how many times? Maybe 9? Let's see, because 9 times 10 is 90, and then 9 times 3 is 27. You add those together, that's 117. So yes, it is 9. So we are going to have 9 is less than or equal to x, but we want to have our x value, or x on the left um, in our final answer. So x is greater than or equal to 9. We flipped the sign when we divided by the negative number, but we flipped it back when we turned the equation over. Let's do the last one. We've got 200 is greater than or equal to 20x. We divide both sides by 20. And x uh, on that side, so then we have equal to 20, 200 divided by 20 is 10. And then we flip the equation around. x is less than or equal to 10. If you have questions, please let me know. But dividing or multiplying by a negative means that we switch the, the uh, direction of the inequality. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you soon.